Hi everyone, John Burrells with Clemens Boats here. Today I'm going to take you through this 2020 Striper 23 foot walk around. Uh, it's pretty tight in here in our showroom so I can't get you a good profile look of the boat but you should be able to see it in the pictures um, on the listing as well. This one has the slate gray hull which we can kind of see down here. Um, I know we can see it in the pictures but there's a little bit of a a view of it for you there. It has the Yamaha 250 on it, four stroke of course. And as I climb in here you'll see that uh, the boat has ample fishing space in it, which is usually the main thing people do on this st style of boat. Um, I've got the seat in on one side, there is a seat over on that side. You can see the backrest there that swivels back. Uh, it just makes it easier for us to climb off and on. You've got uh, rod storage on either side with the tow rail down below. This seems to be the theme with these stripers. They all have the tow rail down there. So if you're out fishing, doing some drift fishing, and you get into some, some two or three foot waves, you can s slip your foot under there and keep your balance. In the back here, there is a live well, bait well, um, nice and deep. There is a second one on the boat as well that is under this seat here. So you could use one as a live well, one as a bait well, or use either one as a cooler if you uh, if you just don't use live wells, which a lot of people don't here. They bring a cooler on board and a minnow bucket. Storage under this seat as well. Nice size storage. You can fit quite a, quite a bit under there. It is an insulated uh, cooler as well. Moving forward. Down in the center there is where you access your batteries. They do a really good job of making batteries easy to get to in these stripers. Um, we do have the twin bucket seats again with the armrest and they do recline. Moving up to the dash, you've got the nice big Garmin unit there, GPS, fish finder combo. And with the, the back blackout or the blackout uh, behind it just kind of dresses it up real nice kicker speaker up, uh, stereo system off to the left there with a few speakers throughout, kicker speakers and your Yamaha command link gauge up at the top, the digital gauges with all your switches off to the left side and it does have electric trim tabs with indicators, you can kind of see those off to the side. Down below it's a little dark in there, kind of a dreary day here in the showroom. Um, V-berth up front, that does fill in and make a nice bed if you want it overnight on it with a sink off to the side and a porta potty with a pump out over on this side. Um, you can see the cushion there that helps fill everything in just laying off to the side. There is a table that goes in as well if you wanted to sit down there, eat, do whatever. Uh, and then the speakers forward again. Can't give you a real good view of the bow. It's kind of tough. Um, well, there you go. Not too bad there. And we've got an electronics box up top, which the boat does have a ship-to-shore radio as well. And then, again, you can see the, the slate gray color on the underside of the hard top. Let me back, back out of here and kind of give you a good view of it again. Just a once-over. Obviously, like I said, there's pictures online that show you the, the profile of the boat and the hull color at a better view than what I can give you here. If you have any questions, you can call us at 419-684-5365. And make sure you like us on Facebook. We keep all of our events page there nice and updated. And then uh, you can follow us on Twitter as well, at ClemensBoats1. Thank you and have a great day.